Eric, what you can do with any um, new library components, you can create as many different library components and folders as you want. All you need to do is go into your index page. I'll just give you an example of uh, uh, the graphic logo here. Here's a simple one. Let's say we make a, a different graphic logo. You go in, you find the path, right? You can use the comment tags or you can, you know, view the source. You can go through the uh, design and select the item and then switch back over to the uh, code. So I can, for here, for example, I could go to um, the website name. I can just click the item in the page, although I get a circle with a line through it, I'm still selecting it, right? I click the MM live item down here. I switch to code view and then it tells me what item I have selected. So in this case, the website name, so I'm pretty close, but I want to change the graphic logo, for example. All I do is I now find the link, right? Or I just double click on the word begin library item, go MM live item down here, and I delete it. Then I press the enter key a few times to give myself some space, put my cursor in the white space between the opening and the closing div. So I put my cursor in there, switch on the assets panel, or go to window assets switch to library which is the book down here and then you go and find your new library item in this case i'd probably have something like graphic logo 2 i'd select it hit insert and then it's done and that's all you have to do right so you'd have a, a new page here with the um, the name of the, the library page down in here somewhere right under the p's select it hit insert and that's it